Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. Today, we're going to be building a villager trading hall. It's basically a scale design that you can just repeat to complete the issue. The um, design, but it is a very simple design and it doesn't take much. And uh, zombies can't get into the villagers and everything is safe. So let me show you how to build this. All right, so we're going to first build this. We're going to make the containment center, so where the villagers are going to hang out. So we're going to take the spruce logs and bring them up three, skip a space, and do the same exact thing next to it, just like that. And like I said, this is tileable, and you'll see in a second how easily it is done. You take some uh, spruce planks and put them in the back there. And then what I do is I put down a temporary block and stick a half slab or I mean a trap door right there and I throw some stairs there I throw what the villager wants in there and then I oops stick some half slabs there and guess what there's our villager containment center it's just as simple as that um for most of the trades that you can do, the XP will come out from in there. Uh, but some of them you can just go like this and get the XP like that. You can jump on the block. But most of it will come out on its own. And as you see, it's just set up like this. So uh, to make it tileable, I mean, it's pretty obvious. But just for those that are uh, challenged... <laughs> Go like that and uh, just stick another trap door there. And you can stick the villager there. He, he won't even leave with the trap door there. So um, you get the villager in there first and then go like that and he will t take the job. And this can go as long as uh, as far as you want and it's real real simple to do so let me show you in my world in my own uh survival world my version of this all right here's my version of this i make the uh tileable thing into a square and each side has one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve villagers so there's 48 villagers here so basically what I do is I get every single book that there is, uh, the highest version of each one. So I did it in alphabetical order so I can find them quickly. So I got Aqua Affinity, Bane of Arthropods 5, Blast Protection 4, all the way over to Unbreaking 3. So that's what all these villagers are. They're all librarians and they have the highest books that possible. I mean, Multi-Shot, Piercing 4, Power 5. And all you do is just replace the uh, lectern until you get the trade that you want. That's how you can manage train. That's what I call it. I train the villagers into what they want to trade with me. And I uh, added some, some farmers over here. I got a couple of clerics and a couple other guys. Cartographer, mason, and whatever uh, over here to just help me with the things that I'm looking for and if I wanted to do more I could actually make a square in the center here to add some more villagers but I don't think I really need it so like I say it's a very simple and easy build to do and it's very tileable and you can have as many villagers or as few villagers as you want and it's just the way I keep them held up there's no way for them to um, be killed by a zombie uh one thing i will say before i go is make sure that you have the top spawnable spawn proof so i what i do is i had a half slabs up there you could light it up or whatever but no zombies are gonna uh form on top and just fall into one of these if you got the half slabs there i mean it's common sense just use your common sense and you got this pretty good it's about as easy as it comes when it comes to uh trading halls so that's going to be it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is KMA. And <clears throat> like it if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you enjoy what you're getting from this channel. And have a great day. Goodbye.